Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this painting. It's a beach sunset with hand painted lettering on top. This painting was actually for my best friend Mika and she said she wanted purple tones. So for the sky I'm blending different purples, blues, pinks, and a little bit of yellow. I'm adding pink clouds and for the water, I'm just mimicking the colors of the sky, so mainly blue and purple. I'm taking these pre-packaged tubes of paint in raw umber and burnt sienna to make brown. Well, they are brown. <laughs> Normally to make brown, I would mix complementary colors together, but I'm using these pre-packaged tubes just to save time today. In case you were wondering, the inspiration for this painting came from Black's Beach in La Jolla, California. So that's what these cliffs are supposed to be. So what I'm doing here is basically scrubbing white paint against the shoreline to make it appear as if the waves are crashing. And I'm using that same technique to add more highlights to the water. Then I'm adding more detail to the sky by adding more pink, more purple, more white, and this is just to make it look more intricate and complete. So Mika wanted the lyrics wild and fluorescent on this painting, and I practiced it so many times on scratch paper before I ended up with this. Since this painting was for someone else, I wanted to make sure that it was perfect, so that's why I spent so much time designing the lettering beforehand. The lines really helped me to plan out my lettering because I could decide how tall I wanted them to be and how spaced out they should be. This part of the process can be time consuming and tedious, but it's definitely worth it. You want to put in the time beforehand to make it right rather than mess up on the final piece. I put paper under the painting and made similar markings as the graph paper. That way I could basically copy the words from the graph paper onto the painting and it would be to scale. This is a good technique to use if you want it to be as precise as possible. And I'm just using white acrylic paint and a small thin paintbrush to actually paint the letters on. This technique is called faux calligraphy because I go back and make the downstrokes thicker to mimic actual calligraphy. Doing calligraphy with an actual paintbrush can be very intimidating because you don't have a lot of control over your utensil. My best advice is to try to keep your hands steady and go slowly. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. We were wild and fluorescent, come home to my heart. In your car, the radio up. In your car, the radio up. We keep trying to talk about us. Slow motion, I'm watching our love. I'll be